Hi guys, good morning. I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I am going to be doing a video today with, um, we're going to be doing some uh, spiritual exercises. I haven't done that in a while um, for you guys. And I know that a lot of the newcomers or the newbies, whatever you want to call them, uh, newly awakened people are needing to know like things that they need to do daily. So I'm going to try. I, I said the word try because it seems like every time I tell you guys I'm going to do something, something else happens and takes me away from that or what have you. So I'm not even going to say that I'm going to do it. I'm going to try um, while I'm off this week <clears throat> uh, to do some spiritual exercises with you guys so that you guys will have uh, some more videos to look to to be able to do those things. But anyway, um, it's real important that we ground ourselves daily, that we pray, that we meditate, that we um seek out guidance for our, our daily life and exactly what we're supposed to do that day. Um, put a hedge of protection around us, uh, you know, things like that. So we are going to do that today and um, hopefully I will be doing that for you guys the rest of this week as well. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and begin praying and stuff. I know sometimes I talk pretty fast, most of the time I talk pretty fast and I'm going to try to keep this slower for those of you who are new and don't can't keep up with me or or unable to visualize or whatever as fast as others so uh you'll just want to visualize what i'm saying or put in your own words where i'm putting in my words or what have you so um <clears throat> so that we can do this together all right guys and so you know, when I'm praying, whatever names come out or the names of the angels or the Ascended Masters that I'm supposed to work with that day, um, so that you know, if you ever hear different names, it's probably exactly what you're supposed to be hearing. That's the one that you're supposed to be working with. So let's just uh, go ahead and begin. Source God, Higher Self, Archangel Michael, Azrael. Archangel Raphael, Ascended Master Jesus, and Mary Magdalene. Thank you for coming and being with me today. I said you'll guide lead and instruct me through <clears throat> a meditation for grounding, getting centered, prayers. <clears throat> to send love and light out to the people that we need to or the places. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So those of you who are not new to energy the way that, I mean, that you can feel Kundalini energy or your life force or Chi energy, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing. Um, <clears throat> you may be feeling energy starting to pick up inside your body and swirling or swirling around your body as we do this. You could feel all kinds of vibrations and stuff to, you know, at this time, we're going to go ahead and put a hedge of protection around us. This is psychic protection, protection from any kind of attacks um, from the spiritual side. Any kind of entities that may try to attach to our orc field, our property, or what have you. So, I'm going to call on Archangel Michael to set up a hedge of protection. And he's shown me exactly how to do that. So, we want to imagine that we are seeing a purple orb of light starting to form around us. It looks like a shield that is actually full of all kinds of different iridescent lights. Mainly purple is what I'm seeing though. I see that expand outside of your physical human body as far as you can. You want to see your property, your home, your children inside that bubble, your animals, your finances. Whatever it is that you want protected. Not just yourself, but whatever you want protected. You want to see that inside this orb. You want to see angels, thousands of, or hundreds of angels starting to form around this orb and <clears throat> just putting so much light onto it that nothing can touch us or touch whatever's in the orb. Okay, at this time what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we see roots growing down <clears throat> in between our feet down into the center of the earth.
when you get there, you want to imagine that you see a diamond that's reflecting all colors of light and mirroring them all over the, <clears throat> the center of the earth. Wrap your roots around the diamond. See your roots starting to glow bright, multicolored light that's coming from the diamond being absorbed into the roots. You want to imagine that the energy is being absorbed all the way up into the bottom <clears throat> of you. When you get to the root chakra, which is right at the base of the spine and tailbone, you want to see that red colored light start to get really bright. You want to see it expand so far that it's out into your, uh, out past your physical human body. You want to instruct yourselves at this time by just saying to yourself or out loud um, <clears throat> that they will start having your chakras spin in the correct directions that they're supposed to spin so that you'll get balance. So the root chakra, have it spin in the direction that it's supposed to spin. Bring that energy on up from the center of the earth into the next chakra, which is the sacral chakra. This is the orangish tangerine colored chakra right above the root chakra and at the navel and spine area. You want to see it glow bright orange tangerine color expanding out to the same width of the root chakra. Instruct your shells cells to have it spin in the correct direction. My experience with this is everybody's chakras spin in different directions depending on what DNA they have. Some people won't agree with me, but that's been my experience. Bring that energy from the center of the earth on up and through the roots and past the, the root and sacral chakra and stop at the uh, solar plexus, which is the yellow chakra right around the bottom of the rib area, right about where your stomach might be up against the spine. This is a bright yellow chakra. Instruct the cells to have it spin in the right direction. So you may start to feel you know, it turning in a different direction. Some of you, mine did instantly. I felt a kick start going in the opposite direction. Being off balance, depressed, sad can make all of these do things that, that they normally shouldn't be doing. Blocks even can do that. See it expand outside of your body, connecting with the root sacral chakras. the energy from the center of the earth on up and through those other lower chakras and stop at the heart chakra which is right in the center of your chest. This is a bright emerald green colored chakra. Instruct, instruct your cells to have it spin in the correct direction. You may feel pitter patters, you may feel vibrations, you may feel ripples of energy coming out of your heart. See it expand outside of your physical human body with the other chakras. Bring the energy from the center of the earth on up through your lower chakras again. This time we're, we're going past the heart, stopping at the throat chakra, which is right at the base of where the neck and the head come, come together. I'm sorry, the shoulders and the neck come together right here. <clears throat> it's a blue chakra. You want to see and imagine that it's expanding outside of your physical human body, connecting with the other lower chakras. You want to instruct your cells to have it spin in the right direction. See it glowing a bright blue light.
Let's bring the energy on up through the lower chakras, up through the heart and throat chakra, this time stopping at the third eye, which is right around brow area in between the eyes. You want to see an indigo light starting to expand outside of your physical human body, connecting with the other chakras below it. Instruct your cells to have it spin in the correct direction. You may have really weird sensations in your eyes. You may have felt like you're being pushed back. So many different sensations can be going on in your body right now. You may be seeing all kinds of flashes of light within the third eye area. Let's bring the energy on up from the roots in between in all the lower chakras up through the heart, throat, third eye. And now we're going to stop at the crown, which I'm seeing as a halo above the head or right. It's kind of like right at the head laying on the head, a halo of violet light. You want to see that halo <clears throat> expanding, glowing bright violet light. See it connect with all the chakras underneath it. Instruct your cells to have that chakra spin in the correct direction. At this time, you want to see all of your chakras glowing brightly, spinning in the correct direction that they're supposed to be spinning in. You want to see them mingling and playing together. Um, so to speak, not necessarily combining together, but still interacting with each other. <clears throat> but I want to now see a spiral, uh, it creating a spiral of energy that's going all the way down into the earth. As the spiral comes from the bottom of you and goes into the earth, you want to see that spiral just connecting with all of the earth. See <clears throat> it root out into the rest of the earth. We're going to do the same thing with the spiral going upwards towards the sky. We're going to connect with the sky universe. Source God, even. See that spiral going up into the universe, kind of uh, rooting out and connecting with different parts of the universe and the sky. <coughs> At this time, we want to imagine seeing bright white light in the heart space right now we're going to send love and light out to different places people areas what have you um even maybe uh your loved ones friends family what have you that need love and light right now so uh however you uh want to do that do that but what i do is i say i see the person's face and I'm sending love and light to I may even think about a situation that they're going through or health issues or what have you and I see that white light coming out of my heart space and going to that image that I'm seeing I'm seeing it being absorbed into their heart space and spreading throughout their body if it's an area or a place that I'm sending healing to or love and light to I do the same exact thing I just see the image of that area in that space that I'm, I'm sending the healing to and I see the white light coming from my heart into that area I see it absorb into the ground or into the whatever and uh, that healing will start to take place so I'm just going to give you guys a, a minute or whatever to go ahead and start praying for people and sending that love and light to them The more love and light that you send out to people, places, and things, the more that your energy is going to pick up, the more you may feel your body move in weird directions that you're not used to. Of course, this is going to take 
a lot of time and effort you know the more that you do these ty type of exercises every day the more that you're going to start filling your chi energy or life force kundalini energy whatever you want to call it <clears throat> I'm being reminded for people to send love and light out to our president. Even if you don't like them, we need to pray them up. Now at this time, we're going to work with Jesus and... Um, if there's any healing that needs to take place in any part of your body physically, so if there's any physical pain is what I'm he hearing. I'm having physical pain across my neck and shoulders. That's usually because usually a sign that I'm stressed out and I have the weight of the shoulder, uh, the weight of the world on my shoulders. So um, not only do I know that I need to take care of the things that are giving me that stress, but I also need to relieve those muscles in that area. So. What I'm doing right now is I'm seeing Jesus literally taking his hands and, and putting them on the back of my neck and my shoulders and I'm seeing him swipe across from the neck to the sides and as he's doing that I'm feeling warmth, I'm feeling vibrations. So all you have to do is imagine whatever ascended master you're working with or angel you're working with at this time. It doesn't have to be Jesus if you're not comfortable with that. It can be any of them. Just call upon any of them that you want to and ask for the, to, sh to either show you how to heal those eight parts of your body or either uh, work with them to help heal you at that time. So let's take a few minutes to go to different parts of our body and allow the healing to take place. It doesn't take a lot of time. As long as your intent is that the healing takes place, you can move on from one place to the next pretty fast. It may take all day for the healing. It may take just a few minutes. It may be instant. Everybody's different. It also depends on what you believe. Okay, make sure to thank whenever Ascended Master Angels have been working with us and guiding us through this meditation. At this time, let's take some time to sit in this energy <clears throat> and manifest things that we want into our reality. I'm going to ask now that I be in tune with the frequency of 432 hertz for manifestation this is something that Nick and I have been wanting to do and we haven't done it together yet but I was just told to go ahead and do it so you're going to feel your energy kind of shift up you'll feel like, like you're taken into another space even Your body may feel very, very weird, but take the time while you're in this energy of 432 hertz to connect with the things that you want to manifest. For me, it's love from people and not rejection. For me, it's my children and my love and my life in loving and kind, positive ways. For me, it's a new health regimen. Or to continue what I'm doing even more so eating more fruits eating more vegetables I've been doing that but I want to even do more of that so I'm going to manifest that into my life so what I'm doing is I'm thinking of those things that I want to manifest I'm, I'm projecting those images out into the universe as I'm doing that I'm <clears throat> receiving those energies right back to me as if it's already mine I may feel shifts in my body or you may feel shifts in your body as your cells are shifting to help you to heal the other aspects of, of you that needs to be healed so that you can actually be in the vibration with those things that you're trying to manifest so that they can be manifested. If that makes sense. So that you can be in alignment with them. I 
want to manifest taking my power back by using I am affirmations to feel better about myself by speaking out those I am affirmations, by writing them out, by journaling them. I want to bring that back into my life again. So I want to manifest that even though I'm sending that out, I know that that's a personal action that I have to do, but I also like to bring that, that put that energy out there so the universe knows that's what I need help on, that I need help not procrastinating on doing those things. I need help on not uh, feeling stuck in, in the rut, but empowered to get up and do those things and they're saying yes and i'm hearing cheering and stuff so they get what i'm trying to say i hope that you guys do some of you are probably thinking why would you try to manifest those things those are things that you need to work on exactly but the universe will help me to manifest those things by helping me to work on me and changing me to get those things yes they said Okay, guys, take the time to just allow yourself to come back in to balance with um, <clears throat> the human side of things. You can open your eyes and start to reawaken back to the human side of things or what have you. I know when I uh, get connected like this and do these type of meditations that it takes me to a different space, a different dimension or what have you. So, um... I kind of feel out of sorts when I first come back. I have to kind of slowly come into it. So some of you may feel that way. But anyway, make sure that you think source God, your higher self, the guides, angels, any, um, any being that may have been here helping you or working with you um, while we're doing these spiritual exercises. I hope that you guys got something out of this. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe if this channel helps you at all. It will help my channel to grow as well as help my business grow. My business has kind of dwindled down to not very many people. I do have a lot of um, clients that are coming, or like regulars that are coming for readings and stuff. My healing has kind of slowed down. I know that has a lot to do with me not making videos with healing and stuff and all of that, but I'm asking that you guys please help me out and grow this channel and help me out in growing my business I do not advertise so you guys are my advertisement all right guys um I hope that everybody has a wonderful day stay safe be blessed I love you bye